Hello, BookTube. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred. So, it is Tag Tuesday, and we are going to be doing the kindness tag today. This tag was created by Caitlin over at Bandy's Books. Caitlin, thank you so much for tagging me, and thank you for the wonderful words that you said about me. I really appreciate it. This is going to be a great tag. So, this tag is going to talk about not just kindness here on BookTube, in books, but also in your personal life. So, I'm looking forward to doing this tag. Let's get started. Question number one. How do you practice kindness in your day-to-day -day life? Well, for me, that's treating people with respect and always approaching people with a smile. You know, that's important. That's how I want to be treated. And it's important to treat others the same way that I want to be treated. At work, I will, I will occasionally buy people coffee and we'll just chat. Uh, occasionally take people out for lunch and just chat. You know, just building that camaraderie or camaraderie at work. And, uh, you know, sometimes just walking by their desk and saying, hey, you're awesome. Those are important. It's important to say those little snippets because it not just makes them smile. It gives them a little pep in their day. And it doesn't just help them and make them smile. It makes me smile, too, because I know that I've done something to make them smile. Anyways, that's how I treat people at work. Uh, in terms of at home uh, with my wife, I enjoy cooking and making dinners for my wife. I enjoy spending time with my wife and doing the same thing. Always talking to her with a smile, laughing, making jokes, but most importantly, treating my wife with respect and letting her know that she, I have her back. So that's how I treat people with kindness. Question number two. What is the kindest thing that's happened to you on BookTube? So I'm going to talk about shouting out other BookTubers. In my community tab, I shout out BookTubers when I can. You know, sometimes smaller BookTubers um, that have under 100 subscribers or are just barely at a certain level, 300, 400, whatever. And just giving them a shout out so that we can give them that extra boost to get them over that uh, subscriber count. Now, why is that the kindest thing that people have done for me on BookTube? It's because they are, you know, it's my subscribers that are seeing this and they're doing the kindest thing by looking at these channels that I've shouted out and subscribing to them, you know? And that to me means a lot. That to me shows that, you know, my subscribers are more than just passively flipping through YouTube and watching what they want. They're actually actively checking these things out and taking the time out of their day to re to look at this booktuber, this new booktuber to them and subscribing to them. And them doing that through me makes me very happy. And I'm very grateful to all of the people that have subscribed to any of the channels that I've shouted out. So thank you so much. That act of kindness that you do by doing that really makes my day. Question number three, who in your opinion is one of the kindest booktubers out there? All right, for this one, we're going to go hands down MJ at Reading This Life. MJ is one of the nicest people on booktube and not just on booktube. She's built an incredible community on booktube and on her discord. And it's just wonderful to see the level of community and the level of sharing, the level of cooperation the level of engagement in her community. And every Sunday she does a video called Support Small Booktubers where she shouts out a number of smaller booktubers so that uh, they get noticed and we can bring up their subscriber count. Saturdays on occasion she will do lives where she uh, invites everybody over and we talk about questions that small booktubers may have, supporting one another. It's just a wonderful thing that MJ does and to be honest, I really appreciate it. MJ, thank you so much for being a part of this community. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Question number four. What is a book that's reminded you to be more kind? For this one, we're going to go with The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. And this is a fictional work about an individual named Nora whose life is falling apart. And she decides one day that she wants to commit suicide. Uh, so she attempts it. And in between life and death, she is magically transported to this library. 
And in this library, there are a number of books that uh, she can pick out, and each book is an alternative reality of her. So in one reality, she is a Olympic swimmer, a professional swimmer. In another reality, she is a member of a rock band. In another reality, uh, she married her, I think it was her high school sweetheart. But, you know, overall, uh, she chose to stick with her own current reality because she realized that she did make a difference in people's lives in that reality. Now, why is this a book that uh, helps me focus on being more kind? Well, it's because we don't know the mindset of people as we walk down the streets or we talk to them. You know, everybody's got their own issues. Everybody's got their ups and downs. And you don't know if someone's depressed. You may not even know if someone is suicidal. So it's important to be kind to people because you don't know their mental state. It's important to show people respect, to show people that kindness, to show to smile when you talk to people. Because, you know, we don't know. They might just need it. It might that might be what they need to get out of their funk. So the Midnight Library is a book that uh, helped me focus on how to be more kind. Question number five. Can you think of a fiction book or of any genre that focuses on themes of kindness? No, I can't, but I can provide a non-fictional work that focused on an example of kindness, and that is Lab Girl by Hope Jarin. And what was the act of kindness? Well, her friend of at least 20 years, Bill, uh, who is her laboratory assistant, uh, lost his father. So he had to go back home and do all the arrangements, attend the funeral, and grieve, essentially. So what did Hope Jaren do? She was currently in Norway at the time. She booked two tickets to Ireland, I believe it was, to do field work there. And this is a place that Bill loved going to. And it was some it was a place where he could get his mind off of his of everything that has happened and lose himself in something that he enjoyed which is plant science now you might think that that's a little weird but you know everybody's different and in bill's case it really helped him it really helped him just to get out there in the middle of nowhere miles away from anyone and just talk to hope and share those those moments of grief and loss with her. So that is an example where someone took time out of their schedule, out of their day, made the effort to do something incredible, booking tickets to Ireland to do field work over there and bringing someone who was grieving, who really enjoyed, who really wanted to go visit Ireland and really enjoyed field work uh, over there to do that. So that is my example of an act of kindness in a book. Question number six. How do you think you could make BookTube a kinder place, both individually and as a community? That's a good question. Well, how would we make it a kinder place? By having individuals support one another. You know, commenting in people's videos, attending their lives. You know, if you see a BookTuber with uh, that's currently doing a live and there's not a lot of people watching, just drop in, say hi, let them know that you might not be able to stay long, but you just wanted to drop in and say hello. That kind of support really helps. Um, shouting people out, uh, you know, either in a video, in a description, or in your community tab, somehow to provide people that support. And, you know, watching their videos, giving them a thumbs up, and letting them know, hey, you're not alone. You're part of a bigger group, a bigger community, and you're welcomed. So. That's the best way that booktubers can support one another, making each other feel welcomed in this community. Question number seven. Say some kind words about one of your favorite booktube channels. Okay, we're going to go with Aaron Facer. Now, I like Aaron Facer. He's got a quiet, cool kind of vibe to him. He reads a lot of poetry, a lot of literature, so not a lot of nonfiction, so we don't read a lot of the same genre. But I like his style of booktube his style of videos it's just relaxing and he really invites you and he invites you into his world and what he's reading and provides you with a cozy space where you can just relax and just take it easy listening to Aaron talk about the various books that he's reading 
or his book nook or the book bag that he has, things like that, just little things, you know? So shout out to Aaron Facer. You are awesome. Question number eight, share a small booktube channel. So for this one, we're going to go with Renette Reads. And I will leave a link to her channel down below. I will leave a link to everyone's channels that I've mentioned down below in the description box. Renette Reads is a newer booktuber. I believe she's in the UK. And again, we don't read a lot of the same material, but she's got a calm, relaxing vibe to her. And, you know, she's just a good, she seems like a very good person. So definitely, if you have time, check out Renette Reads. All right, question number nine. Tag some friends and spread the kindness. So for this one, I'm going to tag, uh, as of this video, I'm going to tag a number of booktubers who are under 100 subscribers. And I encourage you to go check their channels out. Each one of these are amazing booktubers. If you like what you see, please support their channels by subscribing to their channel and commenting on some of their videos. So the first person I'm going to shout out is Alethea at Alethea Thomas. The second person is Alessandro at Alessandro Reads 347. The third person is Jessica at Jessica Emily Reads. The fifth person is Jason at Bookmarks with Jason 9445. The next one is Heather at Books with Heather. The other one is Matt at Matt Reads Review. Uh, the next one is Carrie at Carrie Lynn Journey 6144. And the final one is Drew over at Drew Loves Reading. And that's it. Let me know down in the comments below how you practice kindness and any books that uh, you've read that uh, support that are about kindness or the kind of the types of kindness that you've seen on booktube that's important let me know about that that i would love to hear about anyways thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much caitlin for tagging me and for your kind words i really appreciate it this is fred and you're watching read by fred